Google has a lot of really cool tools. What I'm going to show you today is Google Trends. And it's going to show you all about how people think right now, what's trending, and what's going away. So Google has a huge amount of tools. They collect all the data through their search engine and can parse it down into very interesting trends. So I want to talk about Google Trends today. It's a great way to keep your eye on what's happening in the news today, as well as what may be happening specifically inside your niche. All right, so here's Google Trends, and we're going to take a look at some of the features that Google Trends has and how you can use it in your marketing strategy. So let's take a look here. So as we come down, I'm going to trends.google.com, and you'll see here that two of the things that are most interesting today, unfortunately, are Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian. So is the quality of our Googling. The next one in sports is World Cup, and the third one is football versus American football, which is very interesting. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see that we've got all kinds of interesting data around visualization. The difference between donut, D-O-N-U-T, and donut, D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T, you'll see that people actually spell it wrong, interestingly enough. And then I can go in here and there are people are talking about the Emmy Awards. So I'm going to come in to read more on the Emmy Awards. Now it says all the data I've ever wanted to know. Now here are some of the top queries around the Emmys, 71st Emmy Awards. We have what are the Emmys? When are the Emmys nominated, nominations announced? What are the Emmys? How many Emmys did Stranger Things win? What did Dove Cameron win an Emmy for? So you'll see those are the trending queries. And then you can see all the other variants. And as you scroll down, look at this one here. So we can see here that the U.S. most searched drama series is Game of Thrones. Big stalker. Number two, This Is Us. Number three, Ozark, which is actually very good. Number four, Better Call Saul. Number five, Succession. Better Call Saul is kind of an outlier. Interesting. Then if we look at U.S. search in a limited series nomination, we've got Chernobyl is the number one thing that people were searching, Escape to Demora. Fossey, Sharp Objects, and When They See Us. So it's interesting. So all of this data is being collected based on search volume, search data. And of course, they're, they're harvesting and grabbing all of this content, which I think is just so absolutely fascinating. Now, here's what you can do is you can come in here and enter a topic. So I'm going to enter in, let's go ahead and do SEO. All right. Now, there's just SEO. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in search engine optimization. Then I'm going to put in SEM. Then I'm going to put in organic. Now there's all different ways that people tend to search. All right, so let's see who's the winner. So we have a battle between SEO, search engine marketing, SEM, or organic search. And a lot of times those mean the same exact things to different people in different ways. They're more or less the same thing. So let's see who wins here. So over time, we've got SEO is the front runner at 29. We have search engine optimization is the least at one, SEM at 87. So what that tells me is that search engine marketing or SEM is the higher level concept, SEO being a more specific tactical implementation, and then really organic search and search engine optimization, surprisingly, are not really that actively used. So if we're thinking about how to look and use data based on variants, so slight slivers of differentiation from keyword to keyword, this tool is going to tell you exactly that. Then you could take a look at, well, where do people use the word SEO? Well, it says here pretty much in North America, but then if we go down to Brazil, ironically, Brazil tends to use SEM. Then we also come over here to India, they also use SEM, interestingly enough. Then I come down here and I can see the different international translations. I can also see related queries. So here's some other ones like organic search positions, organic search versus direct. And now it's giving us different variations, like the, the phrases that are on the move, if you will. All right, so that's another one. Now let's go back over here and we can do trending searches, which I think is really, really interesting. So here's the top trending searches for today. 
Champions League draw, Michael Jackson, Fetter, Clemson football, Ryan Russell, Dylan the Hacker, John Carmack, Johnny Isaacson, Emmett Till, and Jess Combs crash video. So it's always very interesting to kind of take a look at what is top of mind for searchers. And it really does give us the pulse of what's happening in our world. What are people turning to Google to get information for? Who is in the current search? And what's happening in news today? So if you could start leveraging Google Trends to help you build your search campaigns, help you build your content, remember, I want you to think about the concept of news jacking. So news jacking being, I'm listening to what's happening in the industry. Let's just say Google releases a massive algorithm change. That is definitely gonna make business news. So if I'm gonna be an expert in Google, then I better show up with some content around the Google algorithmic changes. So that's part of my job is to stay abreast of what's happening in the news and then report back to my followers. So whenever you can set up anything to help keep track of what's happening, it's impossible for us to keep track of everything that happens every day. But using Google Trends, I can go in here and say Google algorithm. If I hear something or I see something on the news, I can go in, I can instantly connect with what people are thinking about and then answer that request by creating content that meets that exact response and request from a searching community. If you love the content that we're sharing here on my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notification every day of our new videos. I'm committed to creating fantastic content that's easy, non-technical and doable yourself. So stay tuned for more great tips, tools and SEO tactics to make you number one in Google.